हेलो एंड वेलकम टू यू इन द इम्बेडेड सिस्टम प्रोग्रामिंग कोर्स दिस इज लक्ष्मी कांत तिवारी इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट द असेंबली प्रोग्रामिंग विद द एस टी एम थर्टी टू डिस्कवरी बोर्ड सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द के एल माइक्रोविजन प्रोजेक्ट क्लिक ऑन द न्यू प्रोजेक्ट देन सेलेक्ट द फोल्डर वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू सेव योर प्रोजेक्ट सो आई एम सेविंग माई प्रोजेक्ट इन द डॉक्यूमेंट्स Kale ARM tutorial create a new folder the STM32 programming. Now double click on this, open, create a new folder here is the STM32 assembly programming. Now open this folder. So file name is here. Let's say is the assembly. Okay. Then click on the save. Now here, please select your device. The select your device. We are using the ST Electronics. So the go in the ST. T electronics and then here the STM thirty two F four VG. Okay, select this one, and this is the description of your microcontroller ARM thirty two bit Cortex M four CPU with the floating point unit. The maximum speed is the one sixty eight megahertz, and the memory is the one MB plus, and uh, 192 plus 4k we have the static ram and other lcd parallel interfaces are available 1.7 to 3.6 volt application supply and 4 to 25 megahertz crystal oscillator on board and other internal 32 kilohertz rc with the calibration and other power saving modes are available sleep stop and the standby modes okay then click on the okay Now here you can see in the project window there is a source group. Here we have to create first of all a three group, uh, two folder, a uh, one folder for the startup files and one folder for the source files. So click on this file extension. Now make this target one as the STM32 assembly. Okay, then group. The in the group we can say first there's a source file and create another is as a startup. Click on the OK. Now you can see here it has been updated. Now we have to add here the startup files first. So first find the two startup file. Sorry, one startup file, one the system file. Click on the C, K version 4, then R, and then click on the startups, and here ST and the STM32F4. Now copy this system file and this startup file. Okay, copy these files, and uh, then copy these files and save these files. In the Kale ARM tutorial STM32 and here. Okay. Save these files here. Uh, copy paste here. Now go here. Right click in the startup and then add existed files to the group. Add first this C file and then click on the s then also add this starter file and then the close you can see here the system files and starter file has been added now create the assembly programming okay so click on this new toolbar and here write your program i have already written this program just i am copying and the pasting here and i will explain this program 
okay copy this at the paste here so first of all save this program save and uh, select this assembly programming here keep here the assembly dot s don't forget this dot s extension for the assembly programming you have to give the dot s extension for the c programming you have to give the dot c extension click on the save now it has been saved as an assembly code now please always remember this is the ttl factorial means the title of your project you can add some space here so these are the labels always remember label does not have any space okay and please give the space between these instructions if you will not give any space between uh, uh, in these instructions then it won't execute it will give you some error okay so now align this knob and uh, this int what i am doing here just i am taking loading two registers r0 and the r4 and uh, multiplying adding and the subtracting these registers and also testing a compare with the r0 okay now all those things has been done here now we have to set first the target option click on the target option here our device is the STM3240VG and the target is the 25 megahertz already on board the crystal oscillator please go in the debug menu and click on the here and select it this one as the ST link okay ST link debugger please select it this as the ST link debugger and go in the setting please verify this setting click on the ok then utility ok or you can use here use as a debug driver ok if you are not using then please verify it should use as a st link and uh, verify this setting first sw and the one megahertz then click on the ok so all those setting has been done now let's compile your project first ok the rebuild this project yes something error has been found please verify what is this error okay error is undefined symbol main so please check where is this symbol main okay so this symbol is main if you remember is defined in the system no sorry this is a defined in the startup okay in the startup you know the heap and the vectors stack size and the starters and initializations is defined in the startup files so go in the startup and find where main is defined yeah we have found here the main is defined here the problem is this this compiler is does not found any main program so where has gone this main program as you know when we write a code in the C so first of all that we have to define the some main function in the C but in the assembly there is no main functions okay but I have defined here a main type of label okay and we are also exporting this main from that startup files so we have to change this name according to that name or that name according to the this name so let's change this to the main just copy this one okay and change this main to that main main and here is the main now save this one and then again rebuild your project then again we have found some error here the undefined symbol main okay the problem is that why this undefined symbol main is coming because of that we didn't add it that file in the source so right click in the source and add existing file and add this assembly.s add and then close 
now let's again repeat this project yeah now we have uh, got two errors let's verify why these two errors okay find where these errors so for first of all that here the flag setting from this instruction is not available okay so cancel this and also another is the line number 12 uh, uh, sorry this is not 12 just again try this one that here is coming from the line number 11 that is making the missing comma yes yes now rebuild you can find one more reader at line number 14 that reader is a bad symbol go okay not define internal or external so this is here branch if not make it this bad symbol is coming because of that we have defined this go outside this end function so please cut this end function and define this add end function here okay now test yes zero error and the zero warning let's test your program with no space what will be the error you can see here yes unknown r code r4 okay so please make a space then run so i want to also explain this code in a more detail here this is the ttl means the title of your program that i have given the factorial by default i am so sorry just you can see here the, as a testing okay and the area area of your program is as a my program and this is the code types and the read only area and the entry means now your program you are writing some of course instructions from the entry then export main export main from the startup files and these are the instructions move means it will move r4 it will load r4 with the 4 okay let's test let's test this in the debug menu click on the debug no stealing detected why because of that i didn't uh, connect my st board please connect your st board with the usb cable now i have connected okay so go in the debug menu click on the okay make this is this assembly here now as i have already explained these things in previous lectures please skip these instructions okay outside this main so here we have came here in the main program now what will be the first instruction the first instructions will be it will load r4 with the 4 we can monitor r4 here initially r4 is the 0 okay and the program counter is loaded here 08003dc here 08003dc now click on the next yes r4 is the zero loaded with the 4 okay so now click on the next then it will load also r0 with the 3 yes 3 and the 4 has been already uploaded and you can see your program is running in the 3d mode and the other privileged privileged and the msp it is using and these are the banks and this is the xpcr it is running in the thumb mode okay carry one and the zero one so now click on the next here it is the multiplication of the r0 and the r4 r0 r4 means the 12 and the result will store in the r1 here you can see the 12 means the 0 c if you want to see in the hexadecimal in the decimal value please go in the watch window and the watch one and the type here r1 okay here you can see is the 12 now it will add r0 with the r4 means the 4 and 3 with the 7 yes result has been got is the 7 now next will be the let's verify what will be the next it subtracted r2 with the r4 and uh, r0 means the 4 minus 3 
that means result has came to the one okay now it is comparing r0 with the one whether r0 is equal to the one or not okay let's check now it has been compared now let's check it is zero is equal to one or not it is not equal to it is not equal to one r0 okay so it is not equal then it will jump to the go this because of, uh, it will come to this point let's check yes it is not equal to so it come to this point now it is comparing whether r0 is equal to the three yes r0 is equal to the three you can verify here so r0 is equal to the three yes is equal to the three means the z is, has become to one so it will again come back to this point yes it has been to come back so here we have verified our assembly programming with the stm32 discovery board thank you so much for watching this tutorial uh, if you have uh, any doubt please comment below and uh, if you want to more video tutorial please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching